Body. Look with there, we've got not quite wild dogs, but you know they have a very similar what we call social structure. And that means that the dwarf mongoose troop is led by an alpha female, that means a lead female, and an alpha male, a lead male. And that's how they live in exactly the same way as a wild dog pack does. Now those little mongoose, everyone, are about the size of sort of rats, really. But they're not related to rats. They're actually more closely related to a lion, if you can believe it, than they are to a rat. So they're quite closely related to your house cat as well. Only three of them, and they live in that little termite mound there. Where it's nice and warm at night and then they can come out when it's a little bit cold still in the morning and you know how when you guys get to school and you go outside in the winter time especially now the first thing you do is go and find a little patch of sun on the field or something like that it's exactly what those mongoose are doing they're just finding some sun because although it looks quite bright out here it's not very warm yet and so those mongoose are just trying to warm up a little bit in the sun after a cold night Go ahead, Orbs. I'm just talking to my friend Aubrey. Okay, copy. Confirm quite close to the Molwati. Yeah, I copied that. Sorry, I did see those. That's the one that I saw there. I just didn't see where they were going. Okay, so now these wild dogs, everybody, have gone to the south of where we are now. We are going to go back towards the south uh, where those dogs have headed. I missed exactly where the tracks were going. So let's go down 